Okay, so in this example, I want to actually calculate a slope. So let's look at the function f of x equals x squared. Uh, that's function notation. So for this, it's actually handier to just write uh, y equals x squared. Okay, so this is a parabola. So let me just make a, a crude sketch of this parabola. So something like this, something like that. And uh, specifically, I want to look at the point, a specific point. So how about the point 1, when x is 1, so 1 squared, that's 1. So the point 1, 1. So what I want to do is I want to estimate, I want to figure out what's the slope at that point. So if you were a little ant um, crawling from left to right, um, what slope would you ex be experiencing right at that point? Obviously, you're going uphill. Uh, there's no question about that. Uh, but what is it? Is it a slope of three, two? Is it a slope of one? Uh, what is it? So what I want to do is I want to look at a near. So in reality, this is a, a, a these two points are extremely close to each other. But uh, for the purpose of, of drawing this and making it um, you know uh, watchable, I'm going to make it look like they're far apart. But Let's say that I increase x, so x is currently 1, I increase that by an extremely small number, number an infinitesimal. So I'm going to add dx to 1. So when I do that, now y equals x squared, so y, my, my new y will be 1 plus dx squared. So when I square dx, that's just this. So 1 times 1 is 1, then I get a dx, then I get another dx, then I get a dx squared. So all together I get a 1 plus 2dx plus dx squared. So that's what my new y coordinate is. So I get a 1 plus 2dx plus dx squared. Okay, so the way we calculate slope is by using the slope formula. So um, the slope is uh, y2 minus y1. This is just from algebra 1 over x2 minus x1. So the slope in this case, so the my y coordinate is, is this guy. Uh, that's, let's call that y2, and that's y1. So on top, I get 1 plus 2dx plus dx squared take away 1. And on the bottom, I get 1 plus dx minus 1. So 1 plus dx minus 1. So let's see, what, what can we do with that? OK, so on top, the 1's cancel. So that 1 is canceled by that 1. So we're left with 2dx plus dx squared over dx. And if I divide out by the dx, what do I get? Um, so uh, I get 2, so dx divided by dx is 1 plus dx. So the slope at that point is apparently 2 plus an infinitesimally small number. So basically, the answer is 2. So that number is smaller than any number you can imagine, so that's the slope at uh, that particular point, uh, 2. So let's do another example. Scroll down. Let's look at, let's see, let's look at y equals x again. So here's y equals x squared again, sorry. So y equals x squared. This time let's look at uh, a point where x is negative 2. So x is negative 2. And y would be that squared, so y would be 4. So that's the point. I'm looking at. So once again, I want to know, I want to know what is the slope at that point. So if you're a little ant, a little microscopic insect, perhaps, crawling along that parabolic path, what sort of slope would you be experiencing right at that point? Um, so again, just like before, I want to look at a, a very, very, very nearby point. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's do this. Um, negative 2. I'm going to add dx. So dx is a very small number. 
And when I do that, again, so I have to, to now square that number. So what is that squared? Well, it's going to be 4, not plus, uh, minus 4 dx plus dx squared. That dx squared is so small compared to the dx, again, we can just ignore it. It's, for all intents and purposes, not there. So I'm just going to write it as 4 minus 4 dx. Okay, so that's what I get over here. So 4 comma minus 4 dx. So again, I, I want to figure out the slope. Oh, put the comma in the wrong spot. Comma should be right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so again, um, I want my delta y. Change, delta is changing over delta x. That's just slope. So my delta y is 4 minus 4 minus 4 dx so 4 minus 4 minus a minus is plus so plus 4 dx that's what we get on top and on the bottom uh, i get negative 2 minus negative 2 which is minus a minus is plus and then minus dx on the bottom okay so what do we how can we simplify that so the 4 minus 4 that's 0 so on the top i get 4 dx on the bottom, we get negative 2 plus negative 2, which is, or sorry, negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. So I just get negative dx. So dx divided by negative dx, that would be negative 4. So at that point, the slope is negative 4. So the slope of this guy is negative 4.